Good morning, IBC. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you rejoicing in spite of circumstances? I am. I learned a lesson a long time ago. When we were living in Cameroon, West Africa, our little daughter, Angela, nine months old, started having unexplainable, very, very dangerous high fevers. One afternoon, her fever went up to 41 degrees. I was out of all the medication I had to give her. I had nothing in the house to give her. I remember just crying out to the Lord saying, God, buddy, please take care of my baby girl. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Please, please help her. That very day in the mail came a little parcel. It was mailed one year earlier from a church group of ladies in the U.S. I opened the box and in that box was the very medication that I needed for that day to calm her fever down and allow us to get her to the hospital safely. It taught me to trust in God. He knew I needed that medicine on that day before I even knew to ask. It was as if Jesus put his hand on my shoulder and said, Glenda, it's going to be okay. You can trust me. I'm here for you. I know your needs before you even know to ask. I thanked him and praised him for that. That lesson has stayed with me throughout my life. Every time my circumstances are such that I don't know what tomorrow brings, I remember that day and how that Jesus promised that he would take care of me. And he always has. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, not part of it, all of it, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all that ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy paths. Have a wonderful day, IBC. Thank you.